Welcome back to Austin News TV and today we're going to look at 5 signings Miklo Sessa can complete with £250 million transfer budget. So the first person on the list is Ben White and Ben White is a player that is very likely to join the Gunners after Arsenal and Brighton have an agreement for £50 million for Ben White and Ben White was someone that was the club's top defensive target and he is someone that really helped Brighton remain in the Premier Premier League after it was the defensive record that allowed Brighton to stay in the Premier League and Ben White's versatility is something that Mick Lothetta is very keen to bring to the club as he's someone that can operate in the right centre back position, he can also operate as a right back and he can also operate as a midfielder as well. For Mick Lothetta, he is someone that views Ben White as a long term captain a long-term plan a long-term future at the club and he is someone that really thinks that he could be at the top level and really help Arsenal regain their position in the top four in the top six places and Ben White is someone that is going to really help Mikel Arteta when it comes to the defensive record and really be that long-term replacement to David Luiz. And Ben White will cost around £50 million as that has been agreed and with the £250 million spending budget, I think with that £50 million going to Ben White, I think that is something that Mikel Arteta will be able to use very well moving in to the new season. So the next person on the list is Max Ahrens and Max Ahrens is someone that Mick Clothetta does identify as a Hector Bellerin replacement and Hector Bellerin looks very likely to leave the club after it. it looks very likely that Inter Milan are very interested in signing Hector Bellerin as their Ashraf Hakimi replacement and Hector Bellerin could go in the region of £21 million to Inter Milan and Max Ahrens is someone that has been seen as a priority target to fill those boots from Hector Bellerin as he is someone that is very young, he's only 21 years old and it's still been a surprise that no big club has made a move for Max Ahrens as he already has had one year of Premier League experience with Norwich City and he's won two championship titles as well as he now regains his position back into the Premier League with Norwich and hopefully he will be able to impress further in the new season but hopefully in different shirt in the form of Arsenal's and Arsenal will need that replacement as they do look very short in that right back area because we still don't know where Callum Chambers future lies does it lie at the club or does it lie out uh, elsewhere and when it comes to Cedric Suarez he's someone that's been more or less seen as the right back backup as he was even very lightly being used as he was seen as the replacements of Ra, the Callum Chambers at the understudy and the number two. So Max Evans could be another addition for £25 million. So the next person on the list is Aaron Ramsdale and talks for Aaron Ramsdale are set to continue and that's a deal Arsenal wants to push through. Even though it's a deal that Arsenal fans do think is a bit too expensive and it's a deal that they think it's not necessary as there are other positions to be filled but Mick Clothetta looks very keen alongside Edu to sign Aaron Ramsdale as a suitable goalkeeper but it's already been reported that the Gunners have seen two bids rejected by Sheffield United for Aaron Ramsdale and also do want to bring in the England international to provide competition for Burt Leno but it could cost over £30 million. Aaron Ramsdale is someone that fills that goalkeeper position for Arsenal is the main reason because of his ability to be a homegrown player and he is someone that could even challenge Burt Leno because we still don't know where Burt Leno's future lies. Does it lie at the club or does it lie elsewhere? Because there have been various, various reports suggesting Burt Leno's future. Some say Saying that it remains at the club, some saying that he will gain a new contract, some saying that he'll be leaving for a fee. So, Burnt Leno for me is someone that Miklaw Setzer does see as needing replacement, and he does see Aaron Ramsdale, someone that remember has been in two different clubs, and both those clubs have been relegated in Bournemouth and Sheffield United. But Miklaw Setzer does want to sign him for over £30 million. So the next person on the list is Eve Basuma, and this is a signing that Miklaw Tetsa does want to sign but doesn't prioritise currently due to the other positions that he wants to sign. But this is a position that Arsenal fans really want to see Eve Basuma play in because he is someone that is very good defensively. He is someone alongside Ben White that helped Brighton remain in the Premier League due to their defensive prowess and Eve Basuma is someone that has the ability to really be a top level midfielder, learn from the likes of Thomas Partey and build a very good relationship 
alongside each other as he does have good relationships on the pitch with Arsenal with the likes of Nicola Pepe and Gabriel Magalhaes and Yves Bissouma for me is a huge Arsenal fan he does want to impress every single game and really impress those Arsenal fans but Brighton may be reluctant to sell Yves Bissouma given the fact that they've already agreed a deal for Ben White in the region of £50 million and Yves Bissouma could be valued around £40 million by Brighton even though due to other Sources such as transfer marks, he is in the region of 20 to 25 million pounds. Brighton will demand more as he is a key player for the club and also will need to splash the cash to sign Yves Bissouma. But there are other positions that Mick Setta is looking at, so right now the talks regarding Yves Bissouma has slowed down, but he's available for 40 million pounds. So the final person on the list is Hossim Owa, and Hossim Owa is a transfer that Arsenal fans do want to see as someone that needs to be a very good creative midfielder as Miklaw Teta and Edu are still prioritising another central midfielder to complement Thomas Partey to even change their formation to even probably play something like a Man City or a Liverpool's um, formation with a defensive midfielder with two attacking midfielders ahead of them and in the form of Hussimo we have a player that is one of the names in the fray but also yet to reignite their interest following two bids last summer and he is someone that is much cheaper than he was last season he was valued around 50 million pounds but this time he's valued at around 25 million pounds and that's something that Mikel Arteta should be able to afford if that 250 million pound spending spree is correct or with a deal looking like 100 million pounds is something that Mikel Arteta could be spending I think the players that we have mentioned is something that it should be viable if you have player sales like we just talked about Hector Bellerin but Leno those are players that could be sold to even bring more cash and really help Mikel Arteta in that creativity department and other departments as well moving into the new season and also Mawa for me is someone that is a really good addition someone that can rotate well with the Mill Smith role or also playing a sort of a number eight sort of role in Mikel Arteta's team so we will have to wait and see how Arsenal will use the summer transfer window in the end. Make sure you check out the FA Cup post to use a special link I have put below in the description and smash that like button to see if you can reach 30 likes. Also subscribe for more daily videos and share the video with your Arsenal friends and family. Click one of the latest videos on the screen and I will see you there.